Halloween is right around the corner and Utahns clearly love to celebrate that holiday. But for some, the end of October and the start of November marks a completely different celebration. The Day of the Dead, which is traditionally celebrated on November 2nd, is a Mexican holiday that is celebrated all around the world, and it brings together communities everywhere, including right here in Utah. So joining me now to talk more about this day is Jeff Bidas with the Salt Lake County Library. First of all, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. So I guess first off, for anyone who doesn't know out there, what exactly is the Day of the Dead? Sure, uh, Day of the Dead, or as we call it in our celebration, Dia de los Muertos, is a celebration of all of your friends and family who have passed on and we're trying to remember all those people. And there's a million ways that we do that. So I brought just a couple of those out here. Let's do it. So sure. what is all of this? Sure, so I brought a lot of sugar skulls. Okay. Um, we do a lot of different crafts for Dia de los Muertos. You can find them in any of our library branches. Um, one of those is the sugar skull. So as you can see here, we have the plain sugar skull. Okay. And this is one of our decorated sugar skulls. And so you could come in, you could grab some sequins and some of the little sparklies and the tinfoil <laughs> hat, and you can make your own um, skull, and that could represent one of your loved ones that may have okay. passed on, or you may give it to a friend if that's what you want to do. So it's it's just a big celebration, and you can see they get pretty elaborate too. Yeah, fancy. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if I could do that well, but good for you. I right. love that. So that's the significance, really, is you're trying to create the person that has passed on, or you just give it off to somebody to celebrate yeah, the day. Yeah, and so th you'll see that some of them are different sizes. So like a bigger skull may represent an adult, or a smaller one might mm -hmm. represent a child who has um, moved on. Okay, and so what exactly is the library doing? You guys are going to have all these arts and crafts for people to come by and do? Yeah, so okay. we have crafts all this week that okay. you can come by, just check our calendar. And then on top of that, at three of our branches, we're going to have big Dia de los Muertos celebrations. So um, that'll be a two hour celebration where we really get into that we really find out what Day of the Dead is about. So Okay, and so I guess what significance does this day hold? Especially, you know, during the pandemic, so many people dealt with loss. You know, how important is this day this year? Well, it's, I think it's important every year, um, but specifically this year, um, you have, um, it's really a celebration of life. We mm -hmm. call it Day of the Dead. But what we're doing is, you know, we create our ofrenda, which is an altar, and then place things that the deceased person likes on the ofrenda, um, with the hopes that they will come and be a part of Day of the Dead with us. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a huge celebration of that person's life. And all, so it's not morbid, it's not macabre no. like it would seem. It's a celebration, right. it's happy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're making something today, sure. aren't we? Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. okay, what are we doing? So we have some Day of the Dead coasters. Okay. Um, and you'll see we have some marigolds and we have more sugar skulls. We have different, um, different patterns. And okay. all we're gonna do is take our Glute. Seems like an easy task, but you know. And we would just paint that on top of there. And this is glue. Yeah. And okay. this one you can get at our Smith branch right now. So this is something that if people right. show up there, they're going to be doing something like this. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just take our pattern. Okay. And we'll put that on there. And we got to make sure that we get, you know, all those air bubbles out. And mm -hmm. so we want to smooth it out. Oh, you're fancy. So you, you would really smooth it for as long as you can. Okay. And once we get it smooth, we would let that dry, mm -hmm. but just for, uh, for now. For time purposes. For time's sake, yeah. since we have about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> then we would just paint over the top of that and get that as clear as we can. Oh, okay. And then we have some nice Day of the Dead coasters that you could put your drink that you're celebrating with on. What or a good idea. You and this is easy up. for any age if they want to come and celebrate. Yeah. Really yeah. anybody. Could yeah, and we have everything from adult crafts to kid crafts. Okay. Um, so something for everybody. I love that. Yeah. Well, this is so cool, and I love all of this. So if people want more information, they want to celebrate, where should they go? Uh, Thecountylibrary.org, Dia de los Muertos. All righty. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being here. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for having me.